Hey guys, so I did have a couple of videos already pre-recorded for last week. Unfortunately, I didn't like the content of them very much. Um, there was a chit chat video of me making uh, Funfetti cupcakes for a cookout for July 4th. And, you know, I was just making cupcakes and just talking with you and I didn't know if you'd be interested in watching that. So, yeah. And if it's something that you would be interested in, uh, me chit chat and baking or doing whatever, just comment below. And then I also had another video where I actually um, did a review on a foundation from Hourglass, which is the Liquid to Powder Foundation, which it was $55. So, in my eyes, a lot of people are not going to run out and spend $55 on a foundation. And I just kind of didn't end up putting it up because I just felt like a lot of my viewers just wouldn't be interested in that content to be honest with you and that's why really yeah I didn't have a video up next ugh, last week so anyways today I thought it'd be fun to show you what's in my shower because I am a product junkie so just be pre-warned that there is a fan in my damn bathroom so when you turn the light on the fan goes on and it's pretty annoying but if you can get past that then thumbs up to you so let's go hit my shower I'm gonna have my clothes on and I'm gonna show you all the products that are in there and I'll tell you what they are alrighty see you in my shower alright guys so we are in my shower um, so as you can see or hear that the fan is pretty freaking loud but you know we're gonna try to um you know just deal with that so when you come in my shower we have like this little bar i don't know what the hell this bar was for originally so therefore you know we just put all our hair care products so this first product right here is elizabeth brady it's a powder um like exfoliator so you mix this in with your um cleanser or you could use it alone this is uh i actually got this from my mother and she doesn't really like it so um i think we're just kind of using it and trying to deal with it and then the next product we have is my kate somerville daily a detox and a cleanser absolutely love this stuff it's like everything and more and then up here we have a Jack Black uh, face buff. This stuff is amazing. This is actually Justin's and he uses it before he shaves, but I've been using it as well. And I can actually like say that this stuff's amazing and I love using it. Yeah, I love using his men's products. I think they're fun to use. Then we have the Perology um, shampoo and conditioner for hydrating here. So we have that. And then over here, I have the conditioner right there. And then over here, we just have the Moroccan shampoo and conditioner, uh, moisturizing for repair, hydrate in here. And then over here, I have the TIGI catwalk for curly hair collection. And I have the shampoo and conditioner over here. So this is just this little view of this corner of products that I have. Um, so now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you what is behind me. So as you can see, I have three shampoos that I actually currently swap back and forth and I love all those. So now we come over here behind me and the shower is right there and then we have like this little caddy right here. Um, and these are all the other products that, um, you know, we use. And down here is just the bar of soap, and I use Dove soap. So this is my puff, and that was my mother's, and she uses a washcloth. And this is my Clarisonic, and I need a new brush head. I hardly ever use this thing. And then I have the Bic Shaver for women. And then up here I have the Kate Somerville Eradicate, which I love this stuff, and I really want to get it, but it's like $60. Um, so we're going to hold off on that. And then I have a scrub here from Coco Pink that I've been trying to finish all these uh, sea salt scrubs that I got from her. Then there was a sample of an exfoliator that I had from when I worked at Elizabeth Grady and my mother was using that. Then I have a pumice stone that I use on my feet and then a uh, bar of soap for Justin. Um, and then this is just something from Lush. I forget what's actually in there. I don't really use their products too often. 
And then we are up here, and I just recently got this, which is the Big Sexy Here um, Volumizing Treatment Mask. And this stuff is actually, it smells really good. I've used it once, so I really can't give you like an opinion on it. Um, it's supposed to give your hair volume. And then right here, oh, okay, maybe if I can turn that upside down. Okay. Then over here, I have the Redken Natural. Um, I'll bring this down a little bit so you can see um, Nature's Rescue. Um, stuff is absolutely, totally amazing. It's This is the Cool and Deep Conditioner for all hair types. They actually discontinued this line, and I'm so pissed. And then I have the shampoo right here. Um, and then I have my EOS Shave Gel in pomegranate that I never really use because I actually use soap to um, shave. And then we have the um, shower gel right here that my mother uses. Um, I don't really use shower gel because I feel that it dries out your body. This is the Aruba Coconut, and that was from 2013. And then I got this, the Fresh Pick Tangerines. I got that on gratis. And then right here, uh, my mother actually uses this, and this is the Forever Red. So that is everything that's in my shower. I hope you guys had a little fun inside of certain products that I use. If you have any questions about anything um, that you were wondering that you kind of wanted to try but you weren't too sure if you should try and you've seen it in my shower, just comment below. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram because I have over like 900 pictures on there and I am like really obsessed with Instagram. Um, follow me on Twitter too. I'll post all my links down below. And if you guys have any other videos that you would like to see, definitely let me know. And I'm wearing glasses. Yeah. So, this is my teacher face. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.